We're now seeing hard numbers about the cost of letting biological men play in women's sports. A report by the United Nations reveals that female athletes have lost nearly 900 medals to players who identify as transgender competing in women's sporting categories. By this past March, more than 600 women in more than 400 competitions lost more than 890 medals in 29 different sports. Donald Trump's running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, addressed these concerns while holding a rally in Nevada. Title IX. Now, maybe we have to amend the law, or maybe it's just a matter of enforcement, but we've got to make clear that Title IX protects the rights of our young girls to compete against young girls. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, she's standing right there, you know, our little girl. I would never want to see that happen to her. It's just not fair. I mean, you're, you're born a boy, you're born a boy, you should be playing boy, boy sports. The National News Desk's Christine Frizzell looks at why the debate over transgender procedures and biological men playing in women's sports has now become a greater factor in the presidential campaigns. In the final weeks of the campaign, Donald Trump and his supporters have spent more than $21 million on an issue that would only directly impact about 1% of the population. All they think about is transgender operations. All they think about is we want men we want men to play in women's sports. His ads, often running during televised sports, use Harris's own words from the past. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. For prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. The vice president Tuesday asked about those previous statements. What is your value? My, Do you believe they should have that access? I believe that, that people, as the law states, even on this issue about federal law, that that is a decision that doctors will make in terms of what is medically necessary. I'm not going to put myself in the position of a doctor. The issue has been a rallying cry for Republicans in previous elections as well. Resurrecting the issue now, experts say, is strategic. I think this turn into more culture issues um, like transgender um, rights for athletes, gender affirming care, they're looking at this as a way to shave off percentages of voters in those battleground states. As president, Donald Trump banned transgender people from serving in the military and removed discrimination protections that had been put into place for transgender Americans regarding education, housing, and health care. Harris appears to have pivoted more to the center on the issue, but has said very little about her specific beliefs. Her running mate slamming Trump's approach. The closing argument for Donald Trump is to demonize a group of people for being who they are. We're out there trying to make the case that access to health care and a clean environment and manufacturing jobs and keeping your local hospital open, those are things that people are really concerned about. With polls showing the presidential race extremely tight, both candidates are trying just about anything, both to turn out their base and to pick up any extra votes they can. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzow. For Christine, thank you.